Guys, this is Hardcore Classic World of Warcraft. A game mode where if you die, that's it. You're dead and game over. And currently the classic hardcore realms are on the PTR being tested for official launch. And that got me thinking. I need to prove to myself that I am ready for the Hardcore Classic Realms official release. I need to show everybody that I'm not bad at every game like everybody says that I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level as far as I can on the PTR all the way to the level cap before the PTR closes. And I gotta be quick because these PTR Realms are going offline in just a couple of days. And if I'm gonna survive and also level quickly, I'm gonna need the most overpowered item in the game for a low level war lock player and getting that item in particular is my goal before leaving Elwyn Forest. This is the journey of Nixium, the human warlock on the hardcore PTR. I'm going to be bald cuz I want to look like Asmongold. Whoa, look at all <laughs> look at all the dead people. What the heck? Look at all the people playing. I didn't realize so many people played the PTR. But then again, it is hardcore. This is kind of like a new thing. So maybe people are really excited for it. Let's go get our imp. Dude, oh, dude, summon imp. Oh, so cool. Such a cool class. The thing about warlocks is you start out and you get this freaking imp, man. So your DPS is already through the roof. And then you go for the item that I'm talking about getting and you just become unstoppable. You want to know what the broken item is that I'm going for, that super overpowered item? I'm going to tell you. Most of you guys have probably already guessed it at this point. I'm going to get a lesser magic wand. That's right. The absolute best entry weapon for warlocks, mages, priests. It don't matter. The only problem is getting it. Let me briefly explain to you what you gotta do to get the lesser magic wand. First, you gotta travel to Stormwind and learn tailoring and enchanting. From there, you're gonna have to make a plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be grinding on the Defias Brotherhood and Kobolds until I can get enough linen cloth to make a load of brown linen ropes. Those robes are green, and that means I can disenchant them. So I'm gonna disenchant them for dust, and then I can level up my enchanting. Bada bing, bada boom. Eventually, I'll be able to craft that lesser magic wand, and then all of Elwind will bow before my power. All right, let's kill some Defias, shall we? Level six. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much linen cloth I should get. Let's try to at least get like maybe two stacks. And hopefully we luck out here. I thought there were more Defias over here. Or maybe I'm thinking over on that side of the lake. That's probably what it is. I also know there's some Defias up here. But I'm pretty sure that they're like really high level. But we're going to go find out. And we're going to be... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go on an adventure. Let's find out. Let's see what's up here. There's the... Uh, oh, yeah. The rogue wizards. Yeah, look. They're like level nine, dude. Let's figure out what's up here. Oh, he's level nine. Oh, Ishnu a lot. We're a traveler. Let's get it. Let's get out of here. I think it's time we go and check out these kobold mines. There are so many people here. What? What was I thinking? Come on, linen cloth and candles. I do need those candles. Gold dust. All right. Come on, linen cloth. Oh, wow. Look at the line. It's level seven, though. Goodness gracious. They're both level seven. Oh, dude. Hold on. We're, dude, we're leaving. I ain't even gonna risk that. I ain't got no fear. I ain't got nothing. I'm scared. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> I ain't fighting two level sevens at level five. Forget it. Yeah, linen cloth, two of them. Yeah, dude, based. <laughs> This is going to take forever. I need this wand right now if I'm going to get to level cap before the PTR ends. You know, I am I think I'm going to make a difficult yet necessary financial investment into the future of this character. I, I know you guys are going to hate me, but I'm going to go get this wand the, uh, the easier way. <laughs> I've got 13 silver. Weapons. A wand. Uh, oh, dude, I could actually get a fire wand. Oh, dude, I could get a lesser magic wand. Should I wait or should I just get it? 
I feel like I should get it because then I'll be able to kill mobs way faster and then I can make the money back quicker and then I can just make my own lesser magic wands and sell them. I'm going to do it. Nice. I know so many people are going to go, oh, no, you use the auction house. Listen, they're letting us use the auction house on the Blizzard hardcore thing, so I'm going to do it. There it is, dude. 100% worth it, dude. Let's try out the new wand, bro. Here we go. Get him, pet. Check this out. Oh, shit. Never mind. Resist. Okay, check it out. Resist. Resist. 18 damage. Damn. <laughs> Isn't that great? So we managed to get the wand, and that's good. But there's something else that we're going to need if we're going to absolutely dominate Elwyn Forest. So we're going to set a new goal for the course of this episode. We are going for the best warlock pet for leveling. The thing that will make me unstoppable as a warlock. We're going for the Void Walker. I'm going to have to hit level 10. I'm going to have to seek out my warlock trainer in Stormwind. Going to go have to collect my first soul shard. Learn the ritual of summoning the Void Walker. It's going to be a quest. It's going to be an adventure. But we're going to do it for the sake of power. I'm kind of broke right now, as you can see. I've only got two silver, so uh, I, 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 need, uh, I need some more. I should probably also level up my wand skill a little bit. A scroll of spirit, dude. My power increases. Dude, look at that wand, dude. 13 damage. 13 damage. Damn. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, thanks for the buff, dude. Dude, there's a treasure chest. Oh, man, there's a treasure chest. Am I so greedy that I would go for a treasure chest surrounded by this many murlocs? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so far, so good. They're only level six, so that is, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, somehow, we have ended up aggroing two others. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, my mouse disconnected. Okay, okay, never mind. We're good. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we pulled two Murlocs. This is fine. The one will get on me, so it's not too big of a deal. And my DPS is also very, very good right now, so I should be okay. Come on, something good. Give me a green. A green. You are in combat. Oh, don't, don't tell me that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, that, that, that anus. He's gonna steal it. He's gonna steal, wait, maybe not. Okay, we're good. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He, he was going for it. He was going to steal it. What the heck was that? Real fast, I do have to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor. If you want the ultimate World of Warcraft leveling, achievement, mount collecting, pet collecting, whatever you want. If you want World of Warcraft's ultimate guide add-on, link down below in the description. I am currently not using Zygor because this is the PTR realm, so I don't think Zygor works for here. But if I ever feel like leveling an alt in classic WoW or just turning my brain off, you better believe I'm using Zygor. You guys have seen it on the stream. You guys know what I'm talking about. Check out Zygor, link in the description. A mine. Mines are places of great danger but they also contain great reward for those who are seeking power. And as a warlock, you better believe I'm seeking power. If I'm gonna die in this challenge, I am not going to die in a kobold cave, all right? Westfall to a Defias bandit, sure. Dead mines, sure, why not? Ungoro crater getting killed by a freaking T-Rex, fine, but I ain't dying in no stinky rat infested cave. I wanna go all the way to the back. There's usually a named NPC in the back of the caves that contain the greatest power and the greatest gear within. And you better believe I'm going for it because I want it. Dude, look, somebody died. They even hang from the ceiling. Scary. Let me give you a shot of that. Look at that, dude, they even hang from the ceiling. He has a thing of mucus hanging out of his nose. I have never noticed that before. See that? Oh, dude, there it is. Mother Fang, a rare, oh, dude, level 10. Oh my gosh. Oh, the treasure chest. Dude, I told you, man. Okay, all right. The mine provides. And then once I, dude, I'm also about to hit level nine. This is perfect. Also, I just realized that my demon skin is not uh, applied. There it is, dude, level nine. We're one step closer to the Void Walker, everybody. One step closer. 
Okay. So, I am very scared of pulling that mine spider right there because he is so close to that mother fang. But I do have three healing potions, so that is good. Let's see what I get. Can't do that while in combat. Oh, great. Please don't tell me. Okay, excellent. I was going to say, please don't pull the other three or the other two. Dang, he's got... Look how hard he's hitting me. Oh, no, there she is. Oh, Ishnu Alawri Traveler. Wait, uh, pet, attack her. Oh, she does the root. Impossible. Get off, get off me. I am not going to die in a kobold cave. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. This is it. I, I, I'm actually dead. How did that even happen? What? How did that even happen? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> like she wasn't even on me. She was. She was all the way down there. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> well, I suppose that's that. Guess he was bad at every game after all.